Hello everybody, this is Gwyneth Isaac speaking. This is a very, very important news update. Okay? Oh my gosh. Wow! Hong Kong today. This is a special update. Uh, the Chinese have begun invading Hong Kong. They have begun sending troops into Hong Kong. Wow! Things are really, really heating up there over the weekend. Last weekend there was a demonstration where the people linked hands and actually managed to encircle the whole island of Hong Kong 30 miles around about 50 kilometers around Hong Kong as a show of strength. That that is how many people, native Hong Kongers, are supporting the Hong Kong protest movement. But the Chinese have moved into uh, Hong Kong. They are going to be moving in in increasing numbers over the next little while. But they had, the, the invasion has begun. Wow. That is absolutely amazing. And on other big news. Oh, I don't know which is bigger. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I am so... I was actually shaking when I heard this. Because Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II has sacked... Sacked the British Parliament. Oh my God. The last time this happened was in the days of Charles I. And basically, George Soros's people came out in the press and said, Your Majesty, you better be very careful what you're doing here. Remember what happened the last time, you know, the monarch sacked the parliament, meaning that um, Charles I got his head cut off. Uh, Her Majesty turned around and immediately called their bluff and sacked them all. This is, this is a red alert. And the reason why Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II did that was because the British Parliament said that they would not pass the Brexit legislation to get out of the European Union. And Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II has come down firmly on the side of the Brexit movement. Woohoo! Yes, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm getting chills. Your Majesty, congratulations. You have absolutely done the right thing. Okay, we really did always love you, but we were so upset and worried because you it seemed as if you were not upholding our common law rights and that is your job as the monarch is to uphold all of our common law rights all right now this has to be a very short video but i can tell you this is a massive 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 heads up okay what is going to happen now there is going to be a war in hong kong okay it's going to be the Hong Kong population versus the Chinese Communist Party government. That is it. And the reason why the Hong Kong is standing against the Chinese is because for hundreds of years they've been living under British common law. And guess what? They like British common law. And who wouldn't? Because British common law gives you every right under the sun. You have under British common law, you have total freedom of travel, you have the right to bear arms, you have the right to free press, you've got the right to conduct whatever religion you want. The only thing you can't do is go around hurting people. That is the only thing you cannot do under British common law. You cannot go around willfully and deliberately, maliciously hurting people. Okay? Otherwise, you've got total freedom. Who would not want British common law? And American common law is just British common law 2.0. You know, this, this, who, who doesn't like the Magna Carta where there's no taxation? Under the Magna Carta, who would not want, who would want to pay taxes? Oh my gosh. 
where there's total property rights protection. You have the right to, to shoot trespassers and not get in trouble for it under British common law. You have the right to uh, bear arms. You've got you know, every right you could possibly imagine. And the only reason the government's even there is to restrain wickedness. Who would not want that? Oh my gosh. I am so excited. I've, got, I've been getting chills. I have been shaking. Because this is so exciting on both fronts. Okay? Now, I haven't got very long to talk. But I'm just, oh, I, I had to make this YouTube video. Oh my gosh, I have not made a YouTube video in so long. But the fact that the Queen has come down firmly on the side of British common law, Brexit, etc. And she had to do it. She absolutely had to do it. That is her job. To uphold British common law is her job. Okay, and maybe maybe she's thrown her hat into the ring a bit late, but at least she has thrown her hat into the ring, and she's thrown her hat into the ring on the correct side. So, good on you, Your Majesty. God save our gracious Queen. God save our noble Queen. God save our Queen. Woohoo! Yes, we're so happy around here. Um, yeah, because basically the, the Rothschilds threatened to kill her. They said to her that the Rothschilds are the money behind the Soros crew. George Soros and his bunch of treasonous, evil people. <laughs> okay. Uh, George, they, George Soros, through his media foundations and his, you know, his corporate machine, basically said in the press, be careful what you do, you 